previously on Flatbush Cats. You met Sal and Sonny, two Brooklyn street kittens who were escorted to VIP life. But of course, anywhere you see kittens, there's a mom and possibly more cats that need to be fixed. Outside cats usually live in colonies, like this one, loose collections of characters who may share a food source and protect their turf. Some may be feral, which means unsocialized to people. And others may be friendly stray or abandoned cats. But all of them will be reproducing if they're not spayed or neutered. I found this kitten just a few weeks after we rescued Sal and Sonny. I'm pretty sure he's their brother. Unfortunately, because he's already several months old, I'm worried that we may have missed the socialization window for this kitten. And the bigger problem is, we have many more cats that still need to be fixed. We were trapping at several different colonies at that time. And each one had kittens that were several months old. Which ones should we try to socialize? It's hard to see kittens who are just a few months old, knowing we possibly got to them too late. You can watch our story about kitten season in Brooklyn to understand more about the resource challenges the rescuers face. Trapping is the easy part. The difficult decisions come later. Do we have room for one more cat? Can we give them the time that they need every day to flourish? Even if their mom was friendly, if a cat is born outside and has no interaction with people for the first few months, it will likely become feral or unsocialized. And as Trap Neuter Return volunteers, we have to understand that the best thing we can do for those cats is to get them spayed or neutered and vaccinated and care for them outdoors in their colony. This is Giorgio, Sal and Sonny's brother. Because this was our first year volunteering, we didn't have many fosters, and we didn't have any more space to take in new cats, especially older kittens who would require hours of socialization time every day. Even though we were doing our best, it still haunted me. I felt terrible, just wishing I had gotten to him a few weeks earlier. I hope that by this point, you can understand it's not a question of whether he could be socialized. It's a resource challenge. Rescue volunteers work with what they have, and sometimes that's very little. Giorgio went back behind the garbage cans, the exact same place where I found Sonny a few weeks earlier. You can probably imagine, I'm questioning my decision to release him. So I made him a promise. As soon as Giorgio showed me that he was friendly, I would find a foster volunteer to take him in. I came back every day to feed the colony and check for any new cats. After a few weeks of feeding him every day, he decided maybe I wasn't that bad. His friend Frankie needed a little bit more time. But I figured she might come around too. This is a pretty big step forward. Feral cats would not allow anything like this. 
So now I know Giorgio has potential. I set him up in the exact same bathroom where we had Sal and Sonny a few weeks earlier. This is a big change for a cat that spent his entire life outdoors. So we take things very slowly. A few days earlier, we received a foster application from a couple who was looking to foster to adopt. So I wanted to make sure he might be ready to go stay with them. I put a little bit of plain chicken baby food on my finger to get him used to my hands. I gave his foster parents some tips on how to continue this socialization work on their own. They called me a day after he arrived to say he was already purring on their laps. Giorgio had always been ready for an indoor life. He just needed the support and the loving family to make that happen. This is one reason why it's so important to have local TNR volunteers and colony caretakers. Because you know the cats in your area, you can watch out for new additions or monitor changes as cats may become more comfortable around you. We were happy to have Giorgio's foster parents adopt him, but there's one catch. Because Giorgio is still a kitten himself, he needs to have another cat friend that he can play with. And just a few months later, kitten season began in New York. So we were happy to find Giorgio a friend. And this year, we were able to have new volunteers to help us rescue cats, including this litter of three kittens and their friendly mom. We made sure that two of the kittens were adopted out together as a bonded pair. And mom went to a home where an adult cat is the best fit. And that leaves Peanut, a kitten looking for a home with another young friend, just like Giorgio. They became best buds. It's amazing to think about how far Giorgio has come and what a great life he has now with his own loving family. There's a lot more work to be done back at the colony and plenty more stories to tell.